Hello YouTube, Omega here, doing a tutorial for you guys for 1.6.4 Vanilla Minecraft server. So follow along as we do this. So the first thing we need to do is open up your internet browser and go to the Minecraft website. I'll have the links in the description, but most of you already know how to get there. Once you're there, you'll see this link right here for the Minecraft 1.6.4 jar file download that and once you have it downloaded go ahead and create a folder I have it named already right there and as you can see I have my jar file in there already and also the run bat file I'll have a link to the run bat file code and I'll show you guys how to make a run bat file really quick here so what you need to do is create a new text document and then we'll go down to text document like so you don't have to name it not yet but we'll take the code from in here I'll have this code in the description and what you do is you just go into the run back paste in the code and then when you save it you go to save as make sure this is all files and then you call it whatever you want you could call it start or run dot bat make sure you add the bat the dot bat at the end otherwise it will not work and then you go ahead and save and that's it you can go ahead and close that and now you see you have a little run bat file and then you can get rid of the new text document we no longer need that and now what you're going to want to do is start the run bat file and you'll come up with this little interface thingy you can change it so that doesn't come out uh, come up by adding the no GUI extension to the run bat file but uh, for now we'll just do this so the server is created what you need to do now is if you're on Windows 7 or Vista click on start and just type in CMD press enter this black box will appear and then you just type in IP config, press enter. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to show you guys my IPs. So you guys do it and you'll see what your IP is. And uh, look for the default gateway and the IPv4. Write that information down. And then once you have it written down, go to the next step, which is this. Open up your web browser. And then click on the address bar and type in the default gateway alright and now once you do that you're gonna be logging into your router if you don't know what the password is and username is get it from your parents uh, for some routers you can use admin for the username and uh, password for the password if not then you'll have to get the information from your parents and all routers are going to look different. The layout is going to be completely different if you don't have the same router as me. Um, but all you got to look for is something along the lines of virtual servers, uh, port forwarding, port triggering, or sometimes even, even under advanced. So yeah, once you have that all set up, uh, what you need to do next is create a new profile for the service that or for the port that you're trying to port forward give it a name we'll just call it to minecraft and then you want to do tcp and udp if you can't do both at the same time just do it separately and then you're going to want to put in the ip address which is your ipv4 so whatever it is like 198.1 192.168.0. whatever you just put that there and then you put the start port for minecraft which is 25565 and the end port which is 25565 and then once you do that you just want to save changes you might have to restart your router for the changes to take place or you might not and once you do that you're all good to go as far as port forwarding goes and wanted to show you guys one other thing in the server properties if you edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus whichever one you have 
um, you're going to want to make sure the IP address is blank, that there's nothing there. Otherwise, you will get a, an error message when you try to start. But just review all your settings here. Online mode, I would recommend to true. Message of the day, you can set all that stuff. Um, level seed, force game mode. And this is what I was talking about, the server IP. Make sure there's nothing there, otherwise you're going to get a error message and then now that you got that done you're pretty much set all you got to do now is start up minecraft make sure it's on 1.6.4 and then go to google and type in what's my IP just type in what's in what's my IP I'll have a link to, in the description the IP, when you see the first link, click on that. You'll see a bunch of numbers up at the top. And give that number up at the top to your friends so they can join your server. And then when you want to connect to your own server, all you got to do is just type in local host. Then just connect that way. And here we are. We're on the server. This is it. Yep, we're on a vanilla server. When Bucket does come out, I'll make sure I do a Bucket re tutorial on how to do this. And also, like, setting up plugins and stuff. And this whole time, Rajvi was here. If you want to say hi. Hello. There he is. Um, just want to take the time to say thank you for watching this. Please give it a thumbs up. <sighs> and uh, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you're looking for a server to join, Check out our server, the IP is in the description, and also if you want to rent a server because you can't get one to work or you don't want to host it on your computer, you can always check out Gizmo servers. So, then again, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye -bye. Chuck Nasty. Chuck Nasty. <laughs>